Hey everyone, welcome to the Philosopher and Fool channel. I gotta tell you, it is one exciting month. Game of Thrones is coming back this weekend. Avengers Endgame is coming soon. I've been working frantically to make sure that I have all my responsibilities done so that I can watch it in peace. You know, I want to relax, I want to enjoy it fully and not have any stress on my mind. But, you know, that also creates a lot of stress and anxiety in itself. And when I start feeling that way, I don't like to live stream these action-packed AAA titles. Usually what I'll do is I'll try to find something fairly mindless to play, something that doesn't have a bunch of complicated game mechanics for me to learn, something that I can cruise through and just enjoy the sights, and, you know, realistically something that I could probably drink while I'm playing and it won't mess up my game. I was looking through my PlayStation games collection and that's when I came across Abzu. I played Abzu for maybe four hours last night, and when I beat it, I, I knew that I had to make a video about it, recommending it to other people. This game was released in 2016 from the same creative vision behind Journey and Flower, but uh, in my opinion, this game is done a lot better. The main theme of the game is casual exploration, and there's never a shortage of beautiful sights. Just, it's stunning from start to end, and it manages to tell a, a deep, and heartfelt story without any dialogue. So I don't I don't know how it's so effective, but it's just captivating. I don't want to spoil too much of it in case you actually decide to pick it up, and it, it does go on sale pretty often, so I recommend it. But basically it starts off where you're a scuba diver and you're tracking down a great white shark. And as you get deeper into the ocean, you start to rescue more aquatic animals, you find places where you can meditate, these statues, and you sit on them, and uh, that lets you pan the camera around and track different animals so you can see all the creatures in the level that you're on. You also find these pools where when you interact with them, you release new animals into the habitat that you're in, so your habitat is constantly growing and evolving. There's a lot of wide open space, um, colorful, luscious plant designs. It even has these colorful caverns and temples to explore. Uh, one part of the game, actually midway through the game, you stop swimming and you can start walking around again. And it, it totally took me by surprise because I didn't think that was going to be in this game at all. But I think what sets it apart from other games in this sort of artistic genre is that it's still got a pretty nice uh, puzzle game at its core. You need to interact with certain objects to progress, certain objects open doors, and on your journey to eventually save the ocean, uh, it's very easy to get lost. You can lose yourself in the expansiveness of the level, forget your sense of direction, swim around for 20 minutes trying to find out what you need to do, but at no point does this feel boring or tedious. Because of how gorgeous everything in this game is, it never gets repetitive. There was one point where I was, I just decided to see if I could swim, keep swimming upward. And uh, I swam for probably a few minutes before I even reached the surface. And just the fact that the level is, is that built, is that developed, uh, really created a sense of awe in me. Now you could finish Abzu in a couple of hours, I think it took me about six hours. The game has seven uh, main chapters, and uh, it's definitely worth the price of admission. I think it's best to think of Abzu as some sort of interactive art piece or short film. And if they ever bring this game to VR, I'm totally going to pick it up gonna be some next level shit.
No Man's Sky is coming to VR, which I'm also very excited about, and uh, this game gives you the same kind of vibe as you do from that. There's a sort of um, majesty and admiration that you have for the developers that created these worlds and can fill you with that that spirit of exploration and and just when you see something that is just so visually stunning that it, it, it actually stirs something inside you. It definitely transcends what you expect to feel from a video game, and it only gets better as you dive deeper into the unknown and the unfolding story. And while you can get lost in this game, you can't die or lose, so there isn't really any pressure when, when you're playing this game. I also want to point out that the ethereal music that is always in the background, the score is phenomenal. It suits the game perfectly. Overall, I highly recommend Abzu for just a, a really nice change of pace, um, something relaxing to go to bed, or if you're just feeling down and you want something to pick up your mood. If you've already played Abzu, uh, let me know in the comments what was your favorite part or what you found to be most phenomenal. As always, be sure to follow Philosopher and Fool on Instagram and Twitter. I post daily updates from my life, cool music, art, memes, we can laugh together. And you can check out all the creators that I like to feature on my website, philosopherandfool.com. We got a section for photography, modeling, artists, musicians. Uh, if it's meant to be shared, I want to help you share it. So send me a message and uh, let's get your content out there as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys again soon. Like and subscribe.